Introducing Perf Tracks, my latest jam and lesson video bundles. Available now at perfectodecastro.com slash perftracks. Check it out. Did you pick up a, a new hobby or skill during this time? Cooking. Cooking. Dude, <laughs> cooking. Dude. I make a really good takoyaki, bro. Trust ah, me. Okay. Like takoyaki? Yeah, 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 yeah. I make, I am, I, without, I'm, I'm not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty damn good. Nice. I, I am very, I can make a very, very good, very good takoyaki. Oh, it, dude, you're on. You're yeah. on. When, when, when I'm in town. <laughs> From scratch, bro. And it's not a mix or whatever. I'll make it the right way. If you have a good Japanese grocery, give me the right ingredients. I can whip it up. I even have a takoyaki pan. Yeah, you, you bought one of those now. <laughs> yeah, my, well, my wife bought it and my daughter bought it for me. It was a Father's Day gift right before the pandemic, you know, like right before. And it was incredible, man. It's the only way. It's the only way. And then that and I, IKEA Swedish meatballs. Remember when they released the rest? Now I can make perfect IKEA Swedish meatballs. But, but bigger. I do. No, this is the trick. I make the meatballs using the takoyaki pan. Oh, perfect circles. Yeah, you cook it. It's, it's, um, so I, I've done all of this and uh, a bunch of other things. So I'll, I'll, I'll randomly cook, you know. And then I got one of them pizza ovens, you know, that uni. I got one of those. And so when we bought it, um, we only got the wood one because the gas attachment wasn't available. But I have so much fun starting a fire. So I'm like, don't, don't get, we don't need the gas. I just, I just want to start a fire. Yes. <laughs> so, so primal. <laughs> really? It's great. It's like, I'm, I'm going back to nature. So, you know, there's a couple of trees in the garden that we had to trim. Like, you know, the mango tree, you have to, and sometimes you have to trim the leaves because it's getting overgrown. And so I, I go keep the branches and then we dry them out. And so that's what I'm using. So I'm even like, <laughs> You know, I'm really <laughs> going back to nature 100%. <laughs> what, what have you done? What have you taken Oh, up? dude, oh, cook, cooking you. then. Nice. I make my own kimchi. Get out. I love kimchi. <laughs> I, make my, I make my own kimchi. I figured it Ooh, out. That is the like best. Pra- kimchi is my go-to everyday happy hour food. There you go. Like, food I mean, is awesome. I make my own kimchi. I learned how to make uh, chashu. Chashu pork, wow. the bracing. I mean, yeah. I can actually put together a decent bowl of ramen, except for the noodles. You noodles, wow. I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, right. so the chashu you're pork. Still, you're still the, using store bought noodles. You yeah, yeah, made, yeah. Made made noodles from yeah. But the char is big. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's. Uh, I found a, a recipe that's very easy to uh, to follow, and it's 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 Lang. pretty damn good. And I'm then, a big ramen. I'm a big ramen fan. Oh, dude, I, I got addicted. I'd, it's it's right. like when I finally uh, had my first bowl of real ramen, and my 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 mistake was I had a really good one for my first one. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> and then and, and then I think I think oh, oh 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 this is ramen. So I thought that was the standard, no. and then I tried some some other place. It's like, but can it do? Yeah. <laughs> And then, like yeah, there's just so food. there's a there's a there's you know to the point na meron na kung pinuntahang lugar man it's like ramen and it's a spicy miso ramen whatever and it was like it it looked like instant ramen that they put oh, like God. chili oil in it and a piece of chili and it it pissed me off dude it's like yeah. I, I just left you can't yeah no there's that you got to have standards yeah exactly so and then now, now here are you a uh, Show you? Are you a Tantan Men fan? What's your like? If you went to a ramen shop, okay, what would be the ramen you would order? I'm I'm a I'm a miso guy. Miso, miso ramen. Sp- spicy spicy miso. Regular tonkotsu would be good too. Then I like I also like the black garlic. Do you get the egg? I get the egg. I I know how to make yeah. the egg. <laughs> Gotta have the egg. You wanna I, make the egg. I know how to make That's the hard. egg with the with the That's hard man with the with the with the seasoning. I know how to make the egg. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta have the yeah. tamago. tamago. Tamago, yeah. Yeah, gotta have it. Aji tamago. Yeah, and that that is also good if over um, steamed rice and a little bit of the pickled ginger. <laughs> oh, for sure, and some tapsi lo. <laughs> there you go. Or 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 the chashu that I make, I just uh, I just torch it and then I put it over the rice. The the steamed rice makes the fat melt. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That's good. 
Introducing the Bad 94 Distortion, the Perf De Castro signature pedal. Now available to order from the following retailers, gcrockboard.com, guitarpusher.com, and from the official website, perfectodecastro.com. Links in the description. The kimchi, how long does it take? The chashu? Kimchi. Ah, kimchi? Chashu, chashu's pretty quick. Yeah, it's quick, quick. A uh, couple of hours, you'll get, you'll get decent. Yeah. Kimchi, like with most Korean dishes, the difficult part is the prep. And it's sure. not even that difficult. But uh, so once you, you have everything prepped, it's a matter of mixing. <laughs> and once, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but once the, you mix it, yeah. it's, it's, it's good. But it's a couple of weeks or something, right? Well, no, seven days if you want it like really ripe. Although for me personally, I prefer seven, seven days unrefrigerated. Okay. Right. Yeah. So Wait, that's unrefrigerated in LA and unrefrigerated in Manila are very different. Huh? Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, room temperature is <laughs> different. But it's very different. So um, you, I usually go like two or three days before I start refrigerating. So it's like it's like right, almost okay. almost fresh, but then on its way to fermenting. I mean, that's that's right. the, that's the uh, thing. I but aside from that, um, recently I got into a lot of Korean dishes. Because you know, yeah. it's 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 so easy to <laughs> you just boil everything. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no. But I mean, but there's a method to the but madness. The, yeah, but the prep, you know. So like I can chapshe, you make the chop shay. That's good. Oh, I don't. I don't make chop shay. I, I make the I make kimchi stew with the pork belly. Uh, uh, I kimchi, make, ki, kimchi jjigae. Yeah, Come kimchi on. jjigae. Yeah, that kimchi jjigae. It. I make Buddha Jige, the army stew. Fantastic, man. I'm a big fan of all of that. Yeah. Uh, pajun, do you make the pajun, the pancake? Oh, yeah. Well, um, good, man. I have the, uh, I haven't tried that yet, but I have the, the Korean pancake powder. So I'm going to try that next. <laughs> they, you know, Manila's big in Korea. There's a yeah, lot yeah. of Korean. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of Korean stores. Well, there's a lot of, well, the Philippines, as you know, has a big Korean presence. Yeah, it's a and, BF Homes, dude. <laughs> dude BF Homes? Which are my wife's so upset, right? Yeah. So, there's a little Korean store that opened around the corner from my house. Yeah. And they were selling this Korean kombucha in oh. like a in like a little, you know, little sachets. And then the dude from BTS said that was his favorite. Kombucha oh. wiped out. <laughs> the people from BF came because they were selling it for like she was selling it for like a hundred pesos per sachet or something. Uh -huh. And then all these people from BF came and they wiped her out. And now they're selling it for like three hundred pesos. <laughs> For sachet, and my wife's all upset. She's like, I just wanted a bit of kombucha and this BTS dude. Now it's gone. It's like, what a nightmare, man. What? But, you know, but it's fun. And my kids love it. Like the Korean ice creams you can buy. You oh, know, yeah. All of the packs and even their instant, but even their instant noodles are funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I watch it. I watch a guy on YouTube and he goes, listen, get like, um, get the, the noodles. I forget the name of the noodles. It escapes me. Uh, but just take shin, everything. Shin ramyun? Shin, yeah, shin yeah. ramyun. And then instead of water, put milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you, I was like, it's, it's good. Yeah. Or before uh, before you pour it into your bowl, put a cheese slice at the put bottom of the bowl. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I have I have like another favorite way of eating uh, Korean ramen is the kojirai style. It only mm. uses half the pack, half the seasoning pack. So you, you, you get rid really? of a oh, lot. Huh? Yeah. So really? it's like pancit canton almost. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what you do is, uh, you know, half the water in, in, a, in a saucepan, put the noodles there, half the pack and then the what, better vegetable pack. And then once the noodles are done, crack an egg and then put the slice of cheese. That's you know. That's brilliant. <laughs> it's so I'm creamy, dude. <laughs> you gotta you gotta try it. But half the water. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just half in the water, half the pack. Yeah, or or you could use the or or you could cook the noodles with the regular amount of water and then just drain. And then just drain it. Drain cool. drain and leave leave maybe a half a cup or a quarter cup and then yeah. and then do everything. But <laughs> no, that's, that's brilliant, man. And, and if there's one thing I miss uh, of all the restaurants, it's not being able to go to my favorite Korean restaurant. That hurts because I loved it, man. And you could do, they have this one place we used to go to, my brother and I. Because my brother and I worked together, right? But every day we'd go out to lunch and never fails. You know, you know when we're especially midweek, you go on a bender, like a midweek <laughs> you know, drink night. So the next day, straight to the Korean place. And they have a thing on the menu called hangover soup. Yeah. Korean hangover soup. Yeah. And it's re literally the best thing in the world. Yeah. So we're always, and I, I, we haven't had that in a while. <laughs> 
what I'm jonesing for, man. You know, oh, and then to get there and you have the thing and you're cooking the bulgogi on the on the thing. That's what I miss. That's an because Korean eating Korean uh, in a restaurant is like an experience. It's it's not quite like just order. They bring you something, you eat and you leave. It's like there's more things involved. I really enjoy it. Yeah, uh, that reminds me. I can also make a spicy pork from scratch too. Uh, yeah, spicy pork really? bulgogi. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah. Dude. I'm, I'm coming to your house. Here, but I'll cook the oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're on, dude. You're on, dude. And then, then my 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 son can cook the karage. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. So now, the one I can't do is dessert. I'm useless at dessert. Yeah. I'll just get ice cream. <laughs> uh, there's a place near here that's uh, they do the the rolling chill ice cream. You know that? Oh yeah, Cold Stone. Yeah, yeah, Cold Stone. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, have, they have that. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> so um, I, I recently oh, sorry go ahead I say no no go ahead no no no, no recently, I was gonna say I recently had uh, somebody started selling Hagen Dazs again not Hagen Dazs I'm sorry yeah, Ben and Jerry's and Cherry Garcia and I I bought a pint because I love that then I also had to explain to my kids why it was called Cherry Garcia so I had to explain about Jerry Garcia who was the of the Grateful Dead and so I had to go through this whole thing and I love doing that you know uh, giving them a little education. Musta mga ipektos. Perf de Castro to at welcome sa bahay ni Pecto. Sana'y enjoy kayo dito sa episode ng Perf Talk. Break lang tayo saglit para sa ilang announcement. Ang PDC Signature Picks na gawa ng Anatomy of Sound ay available na dyan sa Pilipinas. I-message nyo lang sa Facebook ang AJ Guitar Setup or search nyo si Alfred Jan Garduke. Ang bawat pakete ay naglalaman ng tatlong pick at sila ay classified depende sa kulay. Ang puti ay ang soft Ang kulay flesh naman ay medium at ang kulay itim ay ang hard. Ngayon kahit magkakaiba ang kanilang tigas, eh 3D printed ang contours nito. Kaya iisa lang yung grip at masarap siya gamitin. Ngayon meron tayong iba't ibang klaseng available. Ito yung regular sized pick na pang gitara. Meron tayong mas malaki ng konte para sa bass. Meron ding heartbeat at heartbeat jazz shape para sa mga shredders. <laughs> at ang personal kong gamit ngayon ay ang heart attack pick. At katulad ng PDC Heartbeat Picks, ang Heart Attack ay tatluhan din bawat pakete at magkakaiba rin yung kanilang hardness. Ang kaibahan lang ay uh, hindi pa PDC branded ang packaging. Pero hindi naman importante yun. Eh. Mas importante yung pick mismo. Ang Anatomy of Sound PDC Signature Picks ay available dyan sa Pilipinas sa halagang 700 pesos lang. Kasali na doon ang delivery fee. Limited lang ang stocks kahit i-message yun na kagad ang AJ Guitar Setup sa Facebook. Marami na rin nakabili ng bagong design ng PDC shirts and merch mula sa gcrockboard.com. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong patuloy na suporta at uh, ang plano ko ay eh, every month meron akong ilalabas na bagong design. So meron na ngayong available sa gcrockboard.com slash PDC both sa black shirts at saka sa black na mug. At pag nakuha nyo ng inyong PDC merch, either pics, shirts, mugs, bad94, eh, padala nyo lang ako ng picture through Facebook or Instagram para masali ko kayo sa future videos. Okay, hanggang doon na lang muna. Balik na tayo sa Perf Talk. Because you know, part of this pandemic, I've done the, I think, the trifecta of fatherhood. Check this out. My, my oldest son's 19. I taught him how to drive. And my daughter's 15. I'm teaching her how to play guitar. So we're, she's learning guitar now. And then my youngest, is 11. I taught him how to ride a bike. So <laughs> I think I've covered, I've covered everything. <laughs> Oh, obviously there's more, but that was pretty good, dude. So you, you have you have a 19 year old. My, mine just turned 20 like the other day. <laughs> I have a 20 wow. year old, and then going to college now. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's uh, he's on his third year, and then uh, my youngest son' birthday was yesterday. Actually, he just turned 16. Fantastic. And they're both tall. They're, yeah, they're both taller than me. <laughs> and that's lanky. awesome. Yeah, my son's taller than me, dude. That's great. <laughs> You know why? You know why? Because their moms didn't smoke and drink when they were sort of pregnant, dude. Yeah. <laughs> my daughter's taller than my mom than my wife, and I'm like, that's that's because of healthy healthy pregnancy, dude. She wasn't rocking it out, but she was <laughs> good. Good milk too. <laughs> exactly, man. You know. Oh man, I can I can't believe it. Like we have we have kids that. Are, were as old as when we started playing in bands. Exactly. That's how scary is that? Oh, God. <laughs> how scary is that? Oh, God. 
Do any of your kids play? Are you teaching them? My uh, my oldest son is into music now. He he has his band and he's playing, he's recording songs and he's writing his own songs. Yeah, so he's uh and he's got his YouTube channel and all that. So he splits his time between music and uh, MMA. <laughs> so, so those are the things he's into. Yeah, you gotta be into something. It's good. Man. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and when but. So some of the gear that I'm not using anymore, it's it's, it's in his room and, yeah. and he's doing his re- own recordings and all that, and he's got his little band together. So yeah, that's good, man. You know what I just read today? Mm-hmm. You know, you know what band is the number one has the number one single in the UK charts oh, today? Who? Today, Inhaler. Oh, you I... know who the lead singer of Inhaler is? Sina. Bono's son. <laughs> an Irish band, hilarious, oh, dude. Okay. right? Oh. Bono's kids, Bono's kids band. He's 21. Is in the top of the UK charts. Wow. Today. Their debut single. Wow. That's pretty good, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't know. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I, I and then some Instagram people I I follow then like Steve Lukather's son. He has a band. Yeah. Yeah, and then Neil Sean's son has a band. Then, you know, they're all they're all out and I, doing I, it. I know. I mean, you 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 can't force them. Yeah, to do it. Like I could never. I mean, yeah, like obviously, what, I, would, I would love it if they all did, but yeah, can't force them. Yeah, like my know? my son when when he was going to start college, I asked him, "Well, do you want to take music?" No, 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 no. Uh, I want to do something that I can make money right away. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad thinking there. Yeah, yeah, that's, okay. That's and then, but still, <laughs> yeah, and then eventually, like, I don't know what happened. He changed majors, and then he changed majors again, and then finally said, "No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into music uh, business administration or something like that." You know, which is basically hey, that's, yeah, yeah, which is good. So basically, it's a music music degree with business elements in it. So wow. okay. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a thing to get into now. So, what what else is there left for you to do? You think? You know, man, uh, I want to make more records with um, you know Ken's back in the band now. So, okay, you know, good. <laughs> you know, it is. <laughs> that's good. And, uh, so, um, I, I want to. We, we need to make more music. We haven't made a lot of. We haven't made music in a while, and I, I think we have a lot to say still. You know, I mean, Manuel and I have just been you know tossing a lot of ideas around. I know what we can do. You know, it's Manuel Garda for God's sake. I mean, you know. It's one of the, you know, we, we can do quite a lot. And I think we need to do stuff and put stuff out. We, we've we been off the shelf, you know, for a long time. And so I'd like to really start coming out with some new material. That's what I would like to do, you know, and just and, and just keep doing that. You know, I, I don't know about, I, you know, we've done a lot of singles over the last couple of, I mean, the last couple of years. We released one last year with Raymond uh, Marasigan singing. Play, singing and playing the drums. That was our first single, you know, uh, our first single without Brian. Yeah. Right? Because I thought so, that was uh, a, that was supposed to be like a record, like a whole album. Well, the idea was we're going to release all these singles and then when you have 10, then we'll make it an album, I guess. But I mean, I, I don't see the point of releasing, waiting until you have 10 songs in the can and then releasing them all at the same time. Why don't you just release them one at a time? It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? That uh, The way streaming works, who cares? Just release it every time. I'd release a song every month. I mean, I would like to do that, you know? I, I look back at the, you know, when you read the old 60s biographies of the Stones, the Beatles, they, they had to come out with a new single every week. And they always said some of the best songs came out of that pressure that they were under. Yeah, you like um, I I watched this podcast, uh, Sunset Sound, where Van Halen recorded. There was one time though that they came in the studio in the afternoon, recorded Pretty Woman, and then it was out the next week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so you, but so you have to do these things. And one thing I've learned is, okay, first of all, I don't need to. I mean, why you sit around and you have songs sitting around there for for one year? Just let them out. As, as they come, let them out. People enjoy them. Keep another one. And nobody's buying CDs. So it doesn't matter. It's not like you don't have to physically put them in one thing. We, we used to, but you don't have to anymore. You just put them out as they come. And why not? I mean, it'll all be fun. I think having that little pressure is always good. Because one thing I noticed, especially now, like we talked about this, technology is so great. When we started recording our first album, we didn't have a 24 track recording studio. Well, okay, we did, but it was a two-inch reel. And that was it, right? <laughs> you may you could have 12 minutes like, I mean, forget it, dude. You know? Yeah. No, 
now, well, plugins, plugins, do it. No, you nailed it now or else it's done. But you know what that meant? You meant you made you made a decision. Yeah, commit. Now. Yeah. The tone is this. The sound is this. The record level is this. The performance is this. Because you can't go back. There's no undo on two in state. <laughs> no. There's none. <laughs> no. Right? So when you and then you you obviously flash forward today where we have everything at our fingertips we think we have too many options and what you're doing is you're not making the decision pull the fucking trigger man pull the trigger now there it is that's it no i can do better really but that sounded great oh i can do better <laughs> no go with that that's the decision and i think that suffers that moment like you say there's that great moment where you're jamming with a guy and you're like oui play that again that sounded great that yeah. little moment which is very very important also this moment of deciding that was the day but when you can when you're dealing with analog uh, it's easy to make that decision easier yeah easier right easier. easier now with unlimited tracks and unlimited undo yeah option paralysis <laughs> right it's harder yeah, yeah option that's a great term it's harder and i think that that's what makes people suffer but if you were under a if you had some sort of a deadline and you're like hey man every month new single Boom, just do it whatever yeah and it, it's you know what I mean? it's it's simpler it's simpler now with all the distribution services that you're you it's know easy to do yeah like man you mentioned van halen and how amazed were you that they went into a studio and recorded it in one week it was released i can i can record my phone i could fart into it and i could upload that and it would be on spotify tomorrow yeah i mean i could literally do that it's yeah. that quick yeah I mean, it wouldn't even have to be music for I could just <laughs> upload any sound. Yeah. I mean, I could do that right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and the whole world would be able to hear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's amazing. That was a wet one. But, but, so, I mean, it's like there's a lot of power. The artist today has more power than he's ever had, which which why sometimes I get irritated when I see artists bitching about stuff. I'm like, you know, more power than you've ever had in your life right now. It's um, obviously... Yeah. Yeah, okay, marketing is, you know, being able to put something out and getting people to listen to it are two very, very different things. But it doesn't change the fact that you could put an album out today, right now, and the whole world would have access to it. Literally, there's that's an unprecedented level of power and exposure. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's food for thought. When you're ready for new pedal day, Use discount code GCPERF10 at gcrockboard.com to get 10% off your entire order. You can use the code multiple times and there is no expiration date. Enjoy. We've already answered this actually. You know, I was going to ask you what you would what, what you would advice up and coming musicians, but we we we, we answered that yeah, ten sure. we answered that tenfold already. <laughs> Ito na lang. Now that 30 yeah. years has passed in the same band, <laughs> um, can you give me like three tips Jesus. All right. to stay in the game? I can do that. <laughs> three tips to stay to stay in the game. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, one, understand that it is a democracy. And you can't do this if you're a tyrant. It won't last because people will eventually get sick of your ass. And everybody's voice must be heard and everyone's feelings and everyone's aspirations needs to be addressed. That has to happen. So you have to have a lot of respect for everybody and compromise is a big part of the game. You're sometimes not going to have to, oh, I think this verse should be eight bars. No, man, I think we should be six. If everyone thinks it should be six, you're going to have to maybe accept six. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I mean, down to that level, literally. So that's one. Uh, everyone is involved and you know, because if people aren't involved, they won't be able to put a value on it. Let's say if you're very successful and you're making, you know, one million dollars <laughs> a gig, right? Whatever. Yeah. Then you, then you, the what you're gonna have is people staying there for money. Then you can be a big dictator if you want, because you're paying people a ridiculous amount of money, and they'll stay for the money. But if you want a band of people, a group of people that stick together and do what they do because they love what they do. That means they have to love what they do. And that means you're going to have to, you have no choice but to allow them, allow is the wrong word. You're going to have to accept the fact that they're, what they want is going to have to take, come to the, you know, take precedence over what you want sometimes. If, if, if you're disagreeing, but um, the majority prefer this, then you have to accept it. 
because if they don't love it, they're not going to stay with you for love. So I, I, unless you've got the money, <laughs> you're going to have to do that. Yeah. And even the, um, and even with the money, sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes it's not enough, yeah. man. I mean, the money's not enough. And you don't want to be in a situation where they're just there for the money anyways. You never want to be in that situation. That's a horrible place to be in. All right, that's one. Definitely that's one. Um, two, don't sweat the small stuff, man. Don't, I mean, people have, uh, you know, people have a way. People are who they are. And they do what they do. You, you don't have to take everything so badly. And, you know, you need to have a sense of humor about it. And you just have to accept that people are the way they are. Be open-minded. I mean, if if they're a certain way, that's cool. You know, I mean, if it's really like if they're horrible and you can't deal with it, obviously you have to make that decision. That's probably my third thing is you have to be realistic. Dude, if this guy's out of line and it's a mess, I think there's, I think this is something in the Bible even. If your right hand is causing your left hand to sin, then cut it off. You know, if 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 you've got a cancer, cut it off. So if there's something in there that's that's really destroying it and creating a toxic workplace, it's it's really hampering your forward movement. Be able to make the strong decision and say, hey man, that's gotta go. That's gotta stop. You know, I mean, but obviously not. I mean, um, I would maybe caveat that with I always have an open dialogue. Don't. Don't let things settle, sit, and and fester. That's very wrong. Be able to, I mean, if you've got an issue, talk about it. Talk about it right away. Get it out immediately. If the moment you let things fester, this is when you're going to have to cut it off because you basically got gangrene, right? But you allowed it to get there. Don't do that. Um, and it's about, in the end, it's about relationships, really, man. It's it's not about the key is if you're all three of you are all together, or the four of you, five of you, whatever, are all together. And making something you like, then it's just about your relationships. It's just about keeping the relationship because you're all doing what you love. That's the first most important step. Because if, if they didn't like what they were doing, no matter how good your relationship is, it's they're not going to work, man. You know what I mean? So in, in the end, it's, it's just um, finding what you love, everybody getting on board and doing, um, loving what you're doing. And that's maybe something you'll have to do a little bit of work on, maybe. You know, or you'll just have to compromise a little bit. And then it's just maintaining a relationship, like any relationship, like a marriage. I mean, if you're a dick, I mean, your band members will hate you. I'm, if you're a dick to your wife, she'll hate you too. So it's not going to matter. You know what I mean? Just don't be a dick. Bro. You know? I mean, I guess that that's basically, I mean, a lot of it's just that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, number if one rule. On, yeah, if you talk about it, then you can always come to an agreement, yeah. come to an work agreement. it out. You can work it out. <laughs> well, you say that, but I mean, well, it's happen, it's man. simple, but it's not easy. It's yeah, it's it's it looks good on paper, but it to implementation takes some takes some doing. You have to think about it. It ain't money for nothing, chicks for free. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, that I wish. <laughs> yeah, right. That definitely. Is not what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. it's it's hard work. <laughs> oh, okay. How I wish. Man. Yeah, exactly. If you enjoy kayo dito sa video, pakibigil lang ng thumbs up, like, tirahin yun na yung subscribe button at bagtingin yung malit na kampanilya. So, Tirso, thank you, thank you for the uh, insight, thank you for the awesome stories. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, yeah this is it's a pleasure. Now, I'll put all the Rizzo back links in the video description and in the end screens. So we'll look forward to the day that they release one song every month. <laughs> yeah, man, I I would love that. New that single every month. That's that's going to be the but new goal. Wouldn't that be great? Like just something to do. I mean, that'd be brilliant. Dude, if you if you think about it, one song every month is just twelve songs. <laughs> it ain't that bad. It's basically an album, you know. Exactly. Staggered over, stagger, staggered over a period. Yeah. So just just whatever, basta one month, get it out. No matter how, no matter what, whatever form it's in, that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be an interesting experiment. Yeah. I'm actually gonna propose that at the next meeting. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it. Actually, I I do something similar with my uh, YouTube stuff. Cause every let's say gear demo or guitar demo I do, I write a song around it. Eh. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. So every time you're gonna be able to release that, record them, and release them. Well, if I re release everything that I've recorded already and and put on on YouTube, well, you can you can listen to it on my channel. But I have over sixty to 80 songs 
already. Awesome. <laughs> two, two, two to three minute songs. So so it's a matter of going in there and, and organizing them and then just I'll, I'll probably just do that and then toss it, toss it, release everything at once. You know, like six, yeah. 60 song release. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow, that's e- brilliant. Box set, man. <laughs> Box set, <I> <laughs> just, just, just include a pick. <laughs> good. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, if you, if you buy a t shirt, I'll give you the download links to everything. <laughs> Perfect. But <laughs> see, so that's, that's what we're going to work on. And then, uh, yeah, and then when I get back to the Philippines. Uh, we will meet. Yeah, I can't wait. Man. Yeah, we will meet up. Or if Tirsa comes over here, uh, the next video will be a m- mukbang video. Takoyaki and kimchi and uh, chashu pork. <laughs> I got the, I got takoyaki with your name on it, bro. So uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to buy the pan. <laughs> I'm going to buy the pan. Get the pan. Do yourself a favor and just get the pan. It's so useful. Exactly. It's so good. Uh, Twenty minutes <laughs> down the road, we have a Japanese grocery, so you'll get everything uh, you need. <laughs> get the pan and the. There's the turner, the little turner stick. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's <laughs> that's. I'm I'm actually excited about that. Okay, so trust me, you'll thank me. <laughs> okay, so do all the good stuff. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, watch all the perf talks. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>